house where four University of Idaho students were brutally stabbed to death last November will be demolished. Our Brenda Rodriguez joins us live from Moscow right now with the latest. Brenda. Yeah, well, Justin, we are just a couple hours away from the end of that tragic reminder that this house right behind me has left on many University of Idaho students and community members. The university is scheduled this to be demolished starting at seven o'clock this morning and really uh, taking about six to eight hours until seeing how crew, how far crews can get and then leading up to the next couple of days and into the new year. But out here, um, the road should be closing here anytime soon. Uh, we're seeing signs. The road closure starts at five o'clock this morning. Um, a large presence of media this morning but uh, just as a reminder, both sides had final access to the house earlier this month. U of I's executive director of communications, Jody Walker, says that the University of Idaho made the decision after receiving a response in writing from the prosecutor saying that there was, quote, no further need for the house. Since its winter break for students, Walker says it's the best time to tear down the house while students are away. It is a daily reminder and it's really hard to move forward and for our students to heal and continue that process if they're if they're faced with that every single day. You can see it from campus. You can see it within that housing area. And so the conversations, uh, the support for it here on campus have been very much in favor of taking that house down. They're ready. They're ready for the house to come down. But not everyone is ready for the house to be demolished. The defense and the families of three of the victims have expressed their preference to preserve the house until after the trial has ended for primary suspect Brian Koberger. The Gonzalez family are urging the prosecutor's office and university to stop the demolition, saying, quote, when victims can't speak, you have to speak for them when you feel someone is hurting the case, end quote. And we're going to hear a little bit more about um, the or from the family that is here in about 30 minutes. Um, but the family is hoping a trial date can soon be scheduled and as we reported last week the state of Idaho is requesting the trial of Brian Koberger be scheduled for next summer and last six weeks but again nothing is set and Justin demolition is scheduled again to start at seven o'clock this morning last about six to eight hours and lasting a couple of days after that but as far as what's going to be right behind us when this demolition is complete walker says that they are hoping to plant some grass there until they can figure out what to do uh, with the rest of the land but right now walker says that their main focus is that healing garden that we are we've talked about to honor um, the students there as well all right, Brennan, thank you for being live out there this morning and having the latest. Let's 